Rise and Shine. We are in West Palm Beach, Florida, as I get touched up by our makeup artist, Dania. <laughs> Race for the Cure. We're so excited to be here today, and uh, she's just putting this on before I sweat because uh, we know that's going to happen soon, right? Actually, Brie, you're not going to sweat at all. This is um, Max Face and Body, and what it does, it's non-transferable, so it's not going to come off on your clothes or your phone or when you sweat. Go like this. It's not going to be on there. So, you're good. See you in a bit. I'm with Danielle and Lauren, who are here for a really special reason. You guys have a huge team. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, we're just doing a team, it's called Stage 4 Clingers, and we're doing it for our mom. She recently passed away on January 6th. She was a 21-year survivor, and um, we just really love her, so everyone really loves her. That's why we have such a great turnout, and we raised over $5,000. I'm wearing this for your mom, too, Thank okay? You. Good luck, you guys. Good luck. Tell us a little bit about what brings you here today. To help everybody, to help other women that go through the same thing we went through. Cancer-free? Yeah, cancer-free since 2007. Thanks. Survivors, the pink shirts, right? <laughs> yep, year and a half for me. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, the teams are off, and we want everybody to have fun cheering them on if you're coming and going. Go, go, go! I'm a breast cancer survivor, and my whole family is coming here just to race for me. Now, I was diagnosed in uh, June of 09, and I've done chemo, and I'm doing radiation now. And You're going to walk today? I am. And we will find a cure. Absolutely. Go get him! Go, go! So this pink tourmaline pendant comes from the Golden Anvil Jewelry Store. Every year we support uh, the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. It's very close to our hearts. My sister-in-law is a survivor, and I always do it in honor of her. I have been doing this for about 15, 16 years. I'm here for my wife. She's, um, you know, she's going through the process of breast cancer. One out of every eight women will be affected or diagnosed with breast cancer. I think it was 39 minutes. Not bad. There are so many people. How many people are um, here? Well, we were at, I would say we have about 21,000 people who registered. And I think we got some extra people today. I'm saying we're like 23,000 people. I think it's fabulous. It's a gorgeous morning and, and people are just so charged up. and. Of course, all the survivors, you know, you see them and you just want to cry. And We are so proud to be a part of this. Thank you. It's Thank so you. wonderful to be here and I love your pink ribbon on your cheek. Thank you so much. We love everything about you and the organization. Thank you so much. Thank it's, you. Uh, you know, this organization is for the people and uh, it's it is make, it's such a thrill to me that we're able to leave 75% of every dollar that's raised in this community to help low resource people. And in a year like this, this is what it's all about. So I'm very excited we're able to do this. It is an honor to meet you. Thank you, and a real honor to meet you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, and you know what? There's my mother. Hi, nice to meet you. You have one heck of a daughter. I was in Zeta. Oh, there she is, one heck of a daughter. She's perfect. Well, you must have been one heck of a mommy to raise her. Well, I hope I did the right thing. <laughs> I think so. Look at all these people today, and this is just one city. Isn't this wonderful? It's wonderful. Where are we going next? We're going to uh, Israel. I'm coming. What a morning. What a morning. Cheers. Great to see you. Nice seeing you again. See you at the next one. What an incredible morning. We have spoken with the most incredible people, and I am Brie Wolf with United TV, uniting you with the world, one video at a time. I'm gonna go for a dip. <laughs>